Insulation in Houses by kscience.com. This here is a house, and these lines represent energy being transferred from inside the house to the roof cavity and then to the outside surroundings of the house. And these lines represent energy being transferred from inside the house to the roof cavity. To keep your house warmer, you don't want this energy to be transferred to the outside. You want this energy to remain in the thermal energy stores inside the house. So to help reduce the amount of energy transferred to the surroundings out of the house, you use thermal insulators. Thermal insulators slow down the rate of energy transfer from one store to another. What I'm drawing here is loft insulation made of fiberglass. This is a picture of what fiberglass looks like. So the fiberglass loft insulation is laid on the floor of the roof cavity. As you can see, this fiberglass has small air pockets within it. This acts as a thermal insulator to reduce the conduction of energy from inside the house and into the roof cavity. Due to the fiberglass, you can see here that less energy is going to be transferred into the roof cavity because the fiberglass is acting as an insulator. So this fiberglass loft installation has air pockets in it, which reduces the conduction of energy from inside the house and into the roof cavity through the walls and the ceiling. So without roof loft insulation, more energy would be transferred to the air particles in the loft, forming a convection current. So the warmer air will rise and this will lead to more energy being transferred out of the roof and into the surroundings outside the house. Because less energy is being transferred into the roof cavity, this reduces the air convection currents in the loft. If there are reduced air currents in the loft, that means there's going to be reduced energy transfer from the roof and into the surroundings outside. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Thinner walls like the ones you see here have a higher thermal conductivity. If it's got a higher thermal conductivity, that means that energy can be conducted through the material more quickly. What I've drawn here isn't just a thick wall, it's called an air cavity in between two layers of brick, as you can see here. So you've got two layers of brick with an air cavity in between them. Energy is transferred between the air cavity wall by convection and then conducts through the outer wall by conduction. So this process takes a lot longer for energy to be transferred through the air cavity. This is because air is an insulator. So inside the cavity wall is air, which is an insulator. So with an air cavity, the rate of conduction slows down. This reduces the conduction of energy from inside the house through the walls and to the surroundings. So this is the cavity wall, and this is the inner wall. So this is a cavity wall with an inner wall and an outer wall with air in between. So as you can see here, this cavity wall has been filled with fiberglass or other insulating materials. This is to further decrease the thermal conductivity of the wall. So if you fill the space in the cavity wall with foam, this will therefore lead to an increased level of insulation. Therefore, less energy is conducted through the walls to the surroundings, so your house will stay warmer for longer. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Some houses have single glazed windows. This is an example of a single glazed window, a window of one pane of glass. What I'm drawing here 
is a diagram of a single glazed window. And these are the glass particles that are arranged as a solid because glass is a solid. So these are the glass particles. So as you can see, energy from the thermal energy store inside the house can conduct through the glass particles in the single pane window to the outside of the house. So the conduction of energy through the glass particles will cause the transfer of energy from inside the house to outside the house. And this here is infrared radiation. This is an electromagnetic wave that simply transmits through the single glazed window because it's transparent. And this here is infrared radiation. So this here is an image of double glazed windows. As you can see, there are two panes of glass with a vacuum in between the two panes of glass. What I'm drawing here is a representation of double glazed windows with two panes of glass. In this pane of glass, I'm drawing the glass particles. And in this pane of glass, I'm also drawing the glass particles. And between the two panes of glass is a vacuum where there are no particles. So this here is a vacuum. So as you can see here, energy can conduct through the glass particles from inside the house. But when it gets to the vacuum, conduction can no longer take place. So the energy is not transferred through the vacuum, which is the gap between the two panes of glass. However, radiation can transmit through glass, transferring energy through the glass. So this is radiation. Radiation does not rely on the conduction through particles. So a vacuum between two panes of glass prevents energy being transferred by conduction. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.